In this video, I'm gonna go through how I raised money for my company, Gemflow. I'm gonna be exactly truthful with you, what happened. It's not fun and glorious. It's a lot of hard work, but I'm gonna tell you about it right now. So, um, firstly, I'm sitting right here in LA. I'm still in LA. Um, for anyone that's been watching my channel, you probably have seen, I've been out here for, I think it's about six weeks now. I'm currently here in my flats. It's a pretty, pretty nice place in Beverly Hills. Um, it's been a lot of hard work to get to this point. Um, to be in a position where you're like financially secure, your business is good and it's growing, it's healthy. But I'm motivated and, you know, pushing forwards more than I ever have done. Um, it never really stops. Um, so make sure you're ready. If you're, ever, if you're out there trying to raise, start your own business, it never gets easy. If you think you're gonna start your business and work four hours a week and live this happy life and kumbaya shit, it's not the truth. Your life just gets busier and busier and busier. You just gotta get better at dealing with it. But to get into this video, so I have raised money for my business and the way I did that was I decided to sell shares of my business to get money so we can grow. Back in 2016 is when I did the first investment round, as they call it. And um, so yeah, I pretty much researched the whole industry. I made a whole database of every investor I could possibly get my hands on. Either that was angels or that was um, a group of uh, angels which are called syndicates or it was VC firms. And I'm primarily focused at the seed stage because that's the stage where your company is just starting out. You don't want to find investment firms. A lot of people do this mistake. They're finding investment firms that put money in companies at a later stage. And when you're at the initial stage, you need to find people that give money at the initial stage. Also, I went and listed uh, my company all on every investment platform I could find. Um, AngelList, um, Angel Investment Network, just a bunch. Literally every one that I could ever find, I would go and make an account. Um, there was Crunchbase, there's every place where I could possibly find, I would create a profile of the company and list on there because you never know who's gonna find it. And that's exactly what happened. So on one of these platforms, uh, someone got in touch with me. Um, you, you get a lot of people get in touch with you and you're a bit like, yeah, whatever, you don't trust it. But there's one guy got in touch with me and I was a bit like, okay, because when I looked at who he was, he literally was like in central London. It was like a 20 minute train away from me. I did some research on him online and I was like, okay, looks like a legit business guy. But of course I just thought he's trying to scam me. What's the catch here? Something's going to go wrong. But I thought, look, let me just go and see him and see what happens. So yeah, I literally went out and met him and he ended up being like, I think he at that time was probably like about 35, 36. He was a quite cool guy. He had set up his own business. He was doing really well. He had a business where he's like a trading. He trades a lot of uh, different sort of stuff. So it was pretty cool. We just had a nice chat. And um, I guess the key thing there is for anyone that is looking to raise investment is you have to be so ready. When I mean ready, ready. Like there is nothing you can't know. So if I asked you right now, whatever your business is, where is it going to be in three years? How much money are you going to make in year two? How much team are you going to need? How much money are you going to spend on marketing? Who's going to like develop this for you? How are you going to get clients? How are you going to keep your clients? Um, what happens when the market changes? Um, like everything you can possibly like, you got to have it all worked out in such good detail, even though you're not actually going to follow that because things keep change. But even the investors know that, like he knew that, but whatever he asked me that day, I answered and I answered and I answered, but I answered with passion, not reading from a book. Like I didn't have my laptop open and I'm there like, so welcome to my gem floor presentation i would like two hundred thousand pound investment blah 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 like none of that shit. you gotta speak from the heart so i literally like how i'm talking to you right now i i, I went in like i was actually saying what i want to say how i want to say it with that much passion and like feeling that the other person cannot reject it because you have that moment to impress them people are trying to impress so don't make this mistake of trying to impress someone by, so the total market size is 2 billion. Even if I can get 3% of the market, it's going to be this big. So obviously you should invest in me because look how big it is, like rubbish like that. Get away from all the rubbish and you got to show the person like the, the true feeling inside of you and why you're going to spend the next five years of your life. You can give up everything, family, friends, food, dinner, everything of your life to get this thing to work. If you can do that in the way you come across, you will find an investor, you will raise money for your business. And that's exactly what I did. So cutting a long story short, 
I pretty much did everything in my power, gave the most passion and everything I could in that meeting. I came home, I wake up the next morning and there's an email from him saying, I would like to invest in your company, whatever, can we get this going? And literally, I had spent months trying to raise money. I had been through so many pitches, standing pitches from the 200 people, going to different conferences and pitching. Um, a lot of investment firms I'd emailed directly and it never worked. Cold call emailing almost every investor's email I could possibly find. Um, I pretty much did, and I will make a separate video on like how to physically get to investors and the way you should get to them, what you physically say in the email, the decks. All that requires another video because like it's real work and you need real planning and uh, execution to get that right. But yeah, just like that in one day, I met someone and the next day sent me an offer. Um, at that point, I actually didn't even have a lawyer. So the next thing was like, shit, I need to find a lawyer. So I found a lawyer, put an agreement together, sent that over to him. But then he came back with loads of questions. And I remember he would send me a question and I would just sit there and like literally figure it out. He would be like, how many users do you have? How much is uh, one influencer selling and why? What products have sold and what currencies in what countries? Um, how would you get clients to different countries? What would your procedure be? Can I see your deck? That, can I see information that you send a client? Can I see your agreements with clients? Can I see this? Can I see that? He was asking me everything. And I had to literally just like bang, 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 bang. Get it ready, get it ready, get it ready. Send to him, send to him. So I think we had like three days of constant emailing back and forwards. Um, yeah, then I sent the contract over to him. Um, he called me in the end to his office. We went and chatted and uh, we signed the deal. And that's how I got the first investment for Gemflow. It was, uh, it was pretty crazy, but that was the beginning point. And from there, I've gone on and raised three rounds of investment. We've raised 1.7 million in total uh, pounds in the UK. Um, and it's just the beginning. I'm currently right here in LA. Actually, I've had a lot of talks with a lot of big investment firms. They're talking big numbers now. The future is so bright. I couldn't be more excited. Um, just know that there is no exact way. It's about how you do it and how serious you are about it. Like, there's uh, so many entrepreneurs I come across and people that even I know from friends and family that start businesses or want to start a business, but lack the true focus, determination to really see it through. Like on email 997, you will sign the client. On email 1500 or the 17th variation of your business plan, you will get an investor. The winners are the people who see it out. There's actually a thing that Nipsey Hussle says in one of his songs, if you know who he is, is like, it's the one thing that will make you get somewhere is, is the marathon. It's the thing that the person that keeps on trying and doesn't scared of, get, get scared of failure that's the person that wins. There's no magic formula, there's no magic pill, there's no book. I've read all the starter books. All that's good if it motivates you, great. But just know that you actually got to put in the real work and to get there. But most importantly, even though this video is about how you raise money, it's, business is not about raising money. You got to first build a business, make sure you have a business that actually makes money, has a plan, clear direction. And you know in your mind and heart what is it that you want to do then you can go and raise money because then you're essentially selling that to an investor. Don't sell ideas, sell businesses. And that'll be the last thing I'll say. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. You know, as an entrepreneur, I used to, I literally used to be searching for like, finding content that's like this. That's why I'm making content like this, which is like just real shit, not motivational. I don't want to be a motivation page or a person that's like creating these like motivational memes and this and doing these talks and yeah, let's all high five each other. No, I'm telling you that it's hard. But if you listen to some of the stuff I'm saying and apply it to your business, you will see the rewards. And yeah, hope you like this video, give it a like and uh, subscribe. Make sure you turn the notifications on. I actually saw something cool in my analytics that 30% of my subscribers today have the notifications on, so that's great. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video and I hope you got some value. Just before we finish, uh, just to let you know, I've got a bunch of more videos coming out on investment. I'm going to cover the following. I'm, I'm doing a video on like all the stuff that you need to prepare, like uh, which is like your business plan, your deck, the financial information, the financial model, um, contracts, etc. Like what you actually need to have ready before you go to investors. Then I'm going to do another video on um, how you actually find the investors, how to research them, then how to contact them. Then I'll do another one specifically about like the etiquette of like what to send in what way, and almost like how to play hard to get, how to play investors against each other, or like the, I guess the, psychologically how you gotta control all the situation to get what you want. So yeah, I got loads coming up. 
uh, which I'm excited about.